do you really want a big tech company to be the ones who decide what is true and what isn't, especially from politicians? And the answer to that is maybe not. And on the things that they say, just post on their page, like Donald Trump goes to at Donald Trump on Facebook and he posts something, as President of the United should that come down? Should it not? If it doesn't violate terms of service, that's a fair question. What is different and what they really, the point Mark really alighted over is what he's really talking about is fact checking ads. And Facebook ads are some of the most, this is not just like we bought 30 seconds on the Eagles game and we're gonna hope some people watch it. It is, you buy an ad, you're able to precisely, you're able to upload to Facebook the voter file so you can match people and then you can specifically target people based on your uh, based on their interests. And so you can push in this information and use Facebook's massive troves of data and AI-powered algorithm to decide the people most likely to believe that disinformation. And so that is disinformation for profit. And that is a very big deal. Is that why Donald Trump almost won the election? No, but it is basically just throwing your arms up and allowing the weaponization of disinformation on the world's largest media platform. And I think that's a bad thing.